A long journey begins with a single step. The great migratory caribou herds have embodied this philosophical proverb. Their journey is a difficult one, fraught with many challenges. Their seasonal migrations are a testament to their resilience. The only way to survive up north, you have to be strong. We look for ptarmigan. We also hunt Arctic here in the fall. When I was growing up, there was always caribou. Andrew Nakashuk is the chair of the Nunavut Planning Commission. Like the caribou, the NPC is also navigating a challenging path, a path towards a Nunavut land use plan. Nunavut's a very big land that there are different opinions here and there. It's very eye-opener for me. It is a tough job. From what I have learned is we can't always satisfy everybody, individual, like individual person. There's going to be some disagreement here and there for sure. But we are trying our best. It's a very big task to do. Perspective is something Paul Kwasa has an abundance of, having been a key figure in the evolution of the territory. The Nunavut education minister has worn very many hats during his career. He was one of the signatories to the historic 1993 Nunavut Land Claims Agreement. His perspective on the journey towards a land use plan? <laughs> Nunavut has the youngest population in Canada with a median age of 23. The hope is for this generation of children to enjoy a culturally and economically prosperous future. The key, according to Kwasa, are the Inuit guiding principles of IQ. Inuit uh, is a very important guiding principle. <laughs> Up to age 10, Lena Evex journeys were by dog sled or boat. The McGill University educated teacher innovator and singer of children's songs is now leading a journey of rediscovery through the foundation of an Inuit learning center. Lena 
Pico Villa Pataka, Makutu would undo me. Pick an octoco pamayu galoa, Tame Simayu in Nogata. A making of our in Nick Tama illocusuman. Kissian elim Makaulu may pick an unlock out to talk to Yak Tok, Silak Yavutana, Sukali Yalum me. I said Zipalaman. One point nine million square kilometers of land, a vast economic potential, sensitive and unique Arctic wildlife and habitat pristine freshwater reserves, thousands of kilometers of marine coastline, a challenging but not impossible task to balance the protection of wildlife and habitat while building strong economic opportunities for Nunavut. I want to see a good future of Nunavut. My name is Charlie Angok. I was born in Kangatsuyok, Wakem Bay. I was born on an island that is right in the mouth of St. Louis. We need a very uh, conservation-minded uh, about our uh, animals. Charlie Arngak and Putulek Papagatuk were two of the signatories of the historic James Bay Northern Quebec Agreement. It was a major turning point in Nunavik's history. From my experience in the past, negotiation of James Bay Northern Quebec Agreement, also negotiation with mining companies, I, I strongly suggesting that Inuit of Nunavut should work, really work together. The government itself, another organization work together. Blocking exploration and mining activities when there is no scientific link to the decline of caribou would unnecessarily compromise the development of other opportunities for Nunavut and Nunavut. We have to have uh, development and protection together. It cannot be separate. If not, it will hurt for the long time, in long term, the Nunavut. Uh, so our participation will focus on caribou as it has since the beginning. It's a definitely a complex issue and not one that I envy the NPC to take on, but one that I think we can achieve by working together. I think there's a balance to be struck. I think uh, given that it's a living document and given the current status of caribou across the territory, it would be wise to take a precautionary approach at this juncture. We are heading into the um, pre-hearing regional engagement sessions and I think I get a sense of excitement. We're hearing directly from the communities. We've heard from all our planning partners. This is actually where my mom and dad lived uh, when they moved up here in the early 80s. Cambridge Bay is my home. We really have the best of both worlds. We have our guidance from our elders up here, which is very important. <laughs> We got them to get ready for your children and my children. We're now going to six communities. It's kind of a last the last sprint to the finish. It's not a plan for the institutions. It really, truly is a plan for the people. It's work in progress. In Dane, we are called Dane, the caribou eater. The caribou is our goal to the Dane people. We are the land users. We are the hunters. We are the harvesters. Nalone <laughs> Isimalung <laughs> 
Tunisia hattama ta amma lu pirok pali anong mik inuga seka dokta wuti ka hattama wuta anna pangna iti kupina suak tanga ujakan niya to haga halato akpat inun nun nukit sawara kila kayo. Tama na tito ka tao kung makita ka pangna iti kuni mati matariyo pitiga ka yung masima kata ang mago pinging na ko yung mat. Kami kita yang itu nak jual kerap jual angkut tu ni, aje gaya yang itu ni. It's been a long time in the making. I kind of get the hope that there is a light at the end of this tunnel. It's flickering right now, and you know, as people say, that light could be a train. Who knows? But but it's it's within reach. Tak kuang ila magung cutting at tiar on at tiar tu, berkata. Ili taksi si mati arlo ni, taman na inu kau yang maya tukang illo, ama inu ilik kusinga. Ili tari yau tiaru ni, taman na uyaran ni arno, sunau ni arpelu ni, pivali ni arpata. Tak ku kating tiaru ya kartu. Tanah pinjau tiga dua sugu surlo. Taman na eling angi kuting, iglu inanga angin nasau guni. Taman na aulat aulat dua jangin, ma aulat tiar jangin ma. Tanah tapa pinjau tiga dua sugu. Inyo kau yung maya tukang illo, amata makuapigi ako magbaktoy at jigi tiyam ni sangin ni pita kaya. If everything is work out well, it's a very good turning point for Nunavut. It is. It will be. Thinking positively that our children, grandchildren will be still working together on this in the future with the with both the land use plan for Nunavut. And Nunavik. Looking forward is what Andrew Nakashuk is doing, figuratively and literally. He has a drone, and he uses it as a tool to prevent him from getting stuck on broken sea ice when he's hunting. I'm going to use the drone, make it hover above me, and watch the screen to, to see which path is the right path to take. So. I won't get stuck as much. And the NPC chair says like the drone, the draft Nunavut land use plan is also a navigational tool. During that path, I'm sure there's going to be some obstacles too, and you'll be able to change it. It's like when you're trying to go between the ice, that's when you have to make a turn or make a change. Over time, things change, and uh, we can still use the, the, uh, the provisions in uh, the Nunavut Land Claims Agreement. This agreement was meant not just for the po present population, but for our future generations. And, and that is why it is so very important to, to be seen and be understood that it's a living agreement. The purpose of a land use plan shall be to protect and promote Manna sibunitin nilo makimaninga nunakatiri Ammaru takwa nunali tabbani nunavut iluani Taking into account the interests of all Canadians And to protect and where necessary To restore the environmental integrity Of the Nunavut settlement area